Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Rick, and today I'm bringing you guys a new YouTube video. And first off, I want to start off by saying thank you guys so much for the support. It is insane what I woke up to. It's currently 5:45 in the morning, and I woke up to about 21 new subscribers, a fucking shit ton of new likes, shit ton of new comments on two of my old older videos. Um, that I made the past few days. So I cannot believe the amount of people that are just at least watching, commenting, liking, all that good stuff. And even the people that are subscribing. So please, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys enjoyed the previous videos, all that good stuff. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what I can do better. Let me know what you think about the topics I'm choosing to talk about and all that good stuff. But what I want to talk about in this game, man, is just, is just Sledgehammer versus Infinity Ward. You know, Sledgehammer games... When I first played Advanced Warfare, which I believe was Sledgehammer's game's uh, first ever game that they were number one on to make, I have appreciated them a lot. But what I'm seeing is this game is showing so much about how shit Infinity Ward was, especially in Call of Duty 2019 Part 2 or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, whatever you want to call that fucking stupid ass whack ass game. We are getting changes by the fucking day with this game that could have been done a whole year ago by Infinity Ward. But the fact that Sledgehammer actually gives a fuck, they want to do something about it, is insane. Because I used to be a huge fan of Infinity Ward. You know, I, I loved Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. Their games that they made back in the day, I fucking loved. But obviously the people that worked at that at that studio and all that are gone. Because they are not the same Infinity Ward that I know. The fact we had to beg and cry for movement and nothing happened is a joke. The fact we had to beg and cry for a riot shield nerf is embarrassing. And it never fucking happened. The fact we have to talk about everything. Updates. Fucking basic bullshit that never got touched in this game is a fucking joke. Infinity Ward is a failure and Sledgehammer Games is making them look like they're bitch right now. Because Sledgehammer Games is doing a great fucking job. I really do appreciate what they're doing. They started with these experimental playlists. I wish they had a survey in-game so we can vote on that playlist. I know there's like a survey, survey elsewhere. That's the only thing I would say they should do in the future is when they do those experimental playlists... Have the survey be in the game so everyone can vote, all the casuals. Because nobody that plays this game for fun is going to know where to find a fucking survey. They're not going to spend their free time going online, looking up a survey survey, and voting on it. That's not that's that, that's the only thing I can say about Sledgehammer. But other than that, these guys are, have been fucking solid. Their Season 1 content, which comes out today, looks phenomenal. It does. I wish there were a few more maps and whatever, but the amount of stuff they're giving us compared to Infinity Ward is night and day. The way they treat their community is fucking night and day. Infinity Ward don't give a fuck about us. I'm telling you that on the spot. They don't give a fuck what we say, how we feel. They don't care. They're just like Activision. They're definitely Activision's fucking puppets. I mean, that's just how it is, man, because it, it, it is something that... I have really seen, just in the first month of this game being out, Sledgehammer is goaded. I'm telling you that a lot of people may disagree with me, but they are so much better than Infinity War. It's hard for me to talk about Treyarch because it's been so long since I played a Treyarch game. And, you know, I fucking love Treyarch too, at least back in the OG days. So I'm, I'm, still, I'm still hanging with them. But right now, Sledgehammer to me is number one because they actually give a fuck. They fucking changed everything. Everything that went wrong with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And that's movement. That's red dots, right? That is voting on maps. That's the gunplay. That is um, um, uh, maps. All this stuff that they're putting in this game and, and just communicating with us is nine day. Whereas Infinity Ward, they threw us a fucking shit game last year and said, here you go. That's what you get. You're getting limited shit. We're going to focus on Warzone because that's where we care. what we care about. We don't care about you multiplayer players. You guys are going to go out there and you're going to try your best with this limited movement fucking bullshit. What a joke. What a joke that is. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing because Infinity Ward has been doing this a long time. I don't know how long Sledgehammer is, but definitely been in Call of Duty a lot longer than Sledgehammer. 
And the fact I even have to make a video like this is embarrassing. It's a joke. Sledgehammer is fucking killing it right now, man. And I and I'm hoping season one looks as good or plays as good as I, as I uh, as I see it to be. Um, I'm hoping Warzone isn't fucked with hackers. I'm, I I play on PS5 and I don't play on uh, on um, uh, what's it called where you can play with uh, other people on Xbox or PC. I don't do that because I just try to limit as many pe cheaters or whatever I can. I don't think there's many cheaters in this game because. Like I said, I'm doing that, but when I was playing with PC players and all that, I still don't, I still didn't find anybody that was sus, which is which is good to hear. But it's um, it's 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 crazy to even think that we are having a discussion nowadays about you know which developers are better than the other, and and Infinity Ward is 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 really getting fucking tossed around right now because they're getting they're getting uh, exposed right now. They're getting exposed, and it's it's a joke because. You know, I, I have a lot of hope in them. I always said they were the number one creator, but it's obvious that that's not that's not anymore. So that's the whole main point of this video. But I also want to I also want to just go back and just say that you know the community means everything to me. The community means everything, and I don't understand how just businesses in general. A lot of businesses do this. Um, they don't care about their customers. They don't care about the majority of their customers, and the majority of the customers here want movement right they want these you know fun games or fun gameplays and they don't want skill-based matchmaking and i know sledgehammer has is is has their hands tied to this they can't do anything about it because activision says all and does all but you know i just don't understand how infinity ward all that time could listen to all of their people and all of their complaints and not do a single fucking thing about it that that was the hardest thing for me to swallow because it just showed how much they don't give a fuck about us they don't care about us dude and it was embarrassing because like i don't i don't understand why somebody that's making a game would do that to their to their players the players they claim to care about the players they claim they want this game to 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 be around it's clear they don't care about the OG Call of Duty players. They care about those ones that like to sit in corners or sit up top on rust like this guy right here. <laughs> and and just just sit there and don't do anything. Now, I, I am going to say something. Season 1 coming out. I am going to have one little huge-ass complaint on Sledgehammer here. And like I said, I don't know how much it has to do with them. But if it, if it, if it was their idea, I'm very pissed off about it. I'm going I'm to be honest. I'm going to be real. I'm never going to suck someone's dick about something, bro. I'm always going to be real about it. They got this vest coming out called the Assassin Vest, I believe. Where you can sit in a corner. And when you kill someone, their enemy skull or the dead skulls doesn't show up. And if they have a UAV, you're not going to show up on the UAV. That's that's not what we needed in this game, guys. I thought we were getting good with Ghost coming back and... Or Ghost coming back with the uh, where you have to move to not be seen on UAV. Um, but this is a step backwards, guys. It really is. And I'm hoping, I don't know all the details. I'm hoping Sledgehammer's not up to it because they've been doing a great job so far. But if they have been, it, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a disgrace. And it should not be in this game. Because when I play Free For All, man, which I got some Free For All gameplays for future videos, the games are so slow. They're so slow, man. Everybody's just sitting in a building, sitting in a corner. I'm running around, getting fucked because when people die, they spawn behind me. It's it's not what this game needs. But, you know, we'll see how it plays out. I'll probably end up using it, to be honest, because that way I get another free perk instead of just ghosts. But, um, you know, I don't know all the details of that, so we'll find out when Season 1 comes out. But I do really appreciate all the support guys I, I i said in the beginning of the video but i really have to say it at the end because it is something that truly means a lot to me i am really trying my hardest to get back to every single comment i work a full-time job as well as i do this on the side um i'm not making money off this i just do this as a hobby but i'm really trying my best to comment and uh reply to all you guys especially the people that talk shit which is all good man i love it but i can see the majority of the people that are watching my videos like it um and that, that's awesome to me. So I really do appreciate it. If you guys could please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Do what you got to do. Let me know in the comments what I should, could do better. Let me know what I should talk about next. And let me know what you think about the video in general. But other than that, this is Rick. Have a great day. I'm out. Peace.